welcome to Dataiku, the centralized, collaborative, and end-to-end -end platform for data science in the enterprise. Dataiku provides a single, end-to-end -end solution to support data analysts, data scientists, and engineers throughout the entire data lifecycle. Whether you like coding in notebooks, prefer using visual tools, or fall somewhere in between, Dataiku is for you. You're looking at the homepage, which serves as the central hub where users can browse and discover projects, dashboards, and wikis, and other assets, such as Dataiku applications. Dataiku is suitable for use cases across all industries, and in this video, we'll use a project which predicts flight delays to demonstrate connecting to data, preparing and enriching it, building machine learning models, and operationalizing your work, all in Dataiku's Data Science Studio. We'll start on the project homepage, which shows who's collaborating and a list of their recent actions. It also features summary info, such as the number of datasets, models, notebooks, and so forth. We can review the project description and the running to-do list, and keep project-related discussions in a centralized place using the built-in chat feature. Managers will appreciate the general stats on overall project activity, as well as views into each team member's contributions over time. The end product of this project is a business application built right inside DataIQ DSS. Imagine I'm an analyst for airport operations and want to gain some situational awareness when it comes to predicted flight delays. I can simply upload the upcoming flight schedule, click to run the analysis, and then review results. Based on the analysis of current weather and air traffic conditions, along with other historical factors, the application returned a prediction for whether each flight will be delayed, along with charts which provide different views of my data. Behind this simple interface, we had to source and prepare historical data, train a machine learning model, and create a pipeline to enrich and score the new data we just submitted. Let's go back to the project itself to see how easily we did all of that. This is the flow, the heart of a Dataiku project. When we started out, it was a blank page, but now there is a visual representation of each step in our finished pipeline. Blue squares represent datasets, and the icon tells us where each dataset is stored. Yellow and orange circles are steps where we manipulate the data using the visual interface, or using code, or both. We call these recipes, since they are a series of steps that produce a reliable outcome and are meant to be reused. Red elements are plugins, which allow users to extend the capabilities of Dataiku. We offer a diverse library of over 100 open source extensions that can be freely downloaded, modified, and incorporated into Dataiku DSS projects. Or you can build your own plugins. Finally, green elements are where we apply machine learning algorithms to train models and score new data. Let's start by examining the input data. We can connect to dozens of data storage systems, including traditional relational databases, cloud storage technologies, Hadoop, and many common business applications. With Dataiku, the data stays where it is, and whenever possible, you push the computation directly to those environments. This way, you minimize data movement and leverage the infrastructure that you've already invested in. This project began with collecting public data on airline performance, including flight delays. We also bring in information about thousands of airports and weather conditions around the world. First, we explore our data to understand which columns might be useful for our task and what types of preparation may be needed. A high-level profile of all of our columns and the colored quality bars give us immediate visual cues that some values are missing or may need cleansing. 
The Analyze menu under each column shows us a more detailed distribution of the values and useful summary statistics, as well as any detected outliers. We can even automate these types of metrics to be refreshed and captured at scheduled intervals, so we can monitor if our data is changing over time without having to check it manually. For additional exploration and insights, we can use the built-in charting to interactively visualize data and create statistics cards to run a variety of statistical tests and analyses. Before using this data to build a model, we must prepare it. Although data preparation and wrangling is traditionally viewed as the most time-consuming phase of a data project, Dataiku DSS's visual recipes enable us to clean, enrich, and transform data with minimal time and effort. For example, in this prepare recipe, context-based transformations are suggested for each column to accelerate the analyst's work. Or, we can select from the library of more than 90 built-in processors, which do simple to advanced data manipulations with no coding required. Everything from find and replace and other string transformations, to date handling, reshaping, geospatial enrichment, and more. To do something custom, we can create formulas in an Excel-like expression language or code a step directly in Python. For a quick sanity check, it's really helpful to use the colored highlighting to instantly preview the expected outcome of each step against a smaller design sample before we commit to executing the logic on the whole dataset, which might be quite large. Next, let's examine another visual recipe the join recipe, which we use to merge two or more datasets. Users can choose the join type and conditions, which columns to include in the output, and so on. Now up until this point, we've only showed off the platform's visual tools, but Dataiku also provides a first-class coding experience. In fact, Power users often leverage a combination of both code and visual tools for maximum efficiency. For instance, as we make our selections for this join, Dataiku DSS is actually constructing code for us behind the scenes. A data scientist or engineer can review the code and easily click to convert this visual recipe to a SQL code recipe to modify the script from this point but without having to construct this massive query from scratch, which can be both time-consuming and error-prone. This is a huge time saver for coders. When we're ready to run our recipe on all the data, Dataiku makes it easy to push the computation down to the underlying infrastructure. So for increased performance, we can choose to run this join in database or using a distributed engine like Spark. Dataiku DSS is flexible and highly extensible, as coders can create code recipes in the language of their choice, including Python, R, SQL, and more. Here, we've used Python code to enrich the raw data with new features about each aircraft. We have a choice of code editors. The native editor you see here, the built-in Jupyter Notebook interface, or we can even code in a familiar IDE, such as Sublime Text, VS Code, RStudio, or PyCharm, and synchronize our work with the Dataiku DSS interface. Data scientists can build custom code environments with the packages they need, giving them the freedom to do the work their way. Now, how would we build a model to predict whether a given flight is likely to be delayed? Like everything inside Dataiku DSS, we can develop models through code or using the visual interface. AutoML capabilities simplify the process of designing and evaluating machine learning models, while still allowing users full control over optimization and validation strategies. 
feature handling, and other model settings. Choose algorithms to include in your model tournament from state-of-the-art open source libraries, such as Scikit-Learn, MLlib, and XGBoost, or add your own custom models. After training, we can use this single interface to compare results both within and across training sessions, and dive deeper to get insights about individual algorithms. Interactive visualizations and what-if simulations make it easier to interpret and validate models, and built-in diagnostics help us detect common design issues. For this random forest, which were the most important features overall for our predictions? What about for an individual record? What are the financial impacts if we change the cutoff threshold? Is there potential bias in the model? Answer these types of questions and more. The reading tips, like those you see in the blue box, are especially useful for guiding and upskilling novice data practitioners on technical concepts. Even better, a fully formatted report is automatically generated for each algorithm, documenting all the design settings and performance charts we just saw. Another huge benefit for teams who must reproduce models or capture these details for regulatory and governance purposes. When we're ready to operationalize our work, we have a wide variety of deployment options for models and pipelines. Scenarios, Dataiku's built-in scheduler, can automate the building and refresh of pipelines from data access all the way through to redeployment in production environments. Automatic checks help monitor key metrics and alert teams about data and model drift or other issues that may arise with our runs. In addition to batch jobs, we may want to deliver results in real time or on an ad hoc basis. With just a couple clicks, we can expose models and other objects as RESTful API endpoints so they can be embedded into external processes or applications. To communicate insights internally, use the built-in dashboards to gather charts, data, model reports, monitoring metrics, and many other elements into a centralized view. Or push data and insights to other visualization platforms, such as Tableau or Power BI. And finally, leverage web apps and Dataiku applications like the one we saw earlier to help people of all types interact with data and consume AI in a business user-friendly way. We've reached the end of this quick tour. To learn more, get in touch with us on our website or try Dataiku DSS for yourself with a free two-week hosted trial. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.